Riza Maxia, a world inhabited by humans, monsters, and the spirits. The men and women of Riza Maxia can create mana, the root of all energy. The spirits, who thrive on this energy, allow humans to cast spells in exchange for the mana they provide. This is the principle of the spirit art, and it is the very foundation of the Riza Maxian civilization. There are two kingdoms in Riza Maxia, Rashigal and Ajul. It is a rich, bountiful land, and the spirits preserve balance despite the fact these two nations are ever at war. In the city of Fenmont in Rashigal, there lived a boy named Jude, a medical student, and the mysterious girl Mila, who went by the name Maxwell, the Lord of Spirits. The youths uncovered evidence of human experimentation and of a mana-absorbing weapon known as the Lance of Kresnik. Shortly after, the two were branded as dangerous criminals. With the aid of the mercenary Alvin, Jude and Mila escaped to Ajul. But in the flight, Mila lost the power of the four great spirits, stolen away by the Lance of Kresnik. Despite losing her elemental powers, Mila was determined to protect the world from harm by destroying the Lance once and for all. And so, Mila set her sights on Fenmont once more. Unsure of what the future might hold, but inspired by Mila's sheer strength of will, Jude offered to accompany her on her journey. Joined by the young Elise and her doll Tipo, along with the butler Rowan, once a great general, the party discovered that King Noctigal of Rashigal had ordered the Lance's creation. However, Mila and her companions were caught in an ambush and taken to a military holding. Jude staged a daring rescue. But Mila, with no concern for her own safety, recklessly battled Noctigal underprepared. In her defeat, she lost the use of both her legs. Mila! No way! You can't be! Mila! Why? With a renewed sense of purpose and respect for Mila's determination, Jude brought his injured companion to see his father, a renowned doctor. The treatment which Jude's father used was extraordinarily painful, but Mila was able to overcome the pain and eventually would walk again. It was here that Jude decided he would do whatever it took to help Mila achieve her mission. With the company of Jude's childhood friend Leia, the party set out on their journey for the capital. But the shadow of a mysterious organization loomed over them, Exodus. The party soon learned of Spyrex, an unnatural energy used by Exodus to harness arts at the expense of the lives of the spirits. The Lance of Kresnik utilized Spyrex as well. Mila's true mission became clear to all. Destroy Exodus and rid the world of Spyrex. The party found themselves impeded by Ajul's King Gaius and Wingle the Swordsman, Presser the Art User, Agria the Spy, and Jao the Giant, his elite Chimeriad soldiers. Eventually, 
Mila and her companions reached the capital and faced King Noctegal, defeating him before he could use the Lance of Kresnik to seize control over all of Riza Maxia. But by then they were too late. The Lance had already been carried out of the kingdom. Under the command of King Gaius, the Azul army invaded Rashugal. War had officially broken out. Charging headlong into the fray, Mila and her companions were forced to battle the Chimeriad and even King Gaius himself, all of whom were also after the lance. The confrontation with Gaius proved nearly deadly for the party. In a fit of jealousy during the battle, Mila's handmaid, Ivor, who viewed Jude as somewhat of a rival, accidentally activated the Lance of Kresnik. The Lance's power was not focused on the enemy lines, however, but instead upward, where it tore a hole in the sky itself. Countless flying warships soared out through the rift that was created, and they overwhelmed the armies of Rashugal and Ajul without warning. In the blink of an eye, the unknown force had gained control over the entire land. But Mila was harboring a deep secret. Riza Maxia was actually an exiled world, partitioned off by a great wall of mana known as the Schism. And beyond that barrier lay a whole other expansive world known as Olympias. Exodus was comprised of Olympians, humans from Olympias, who relied on the energy of Spyrix for their entire civilization. The party was left with no choice but to join forces with Gaius to resist Exodus and repel the Olympian army. The Great Spirit Muse also appeared, cryptically claiming to be Mila's sister. With her help, the party was able to invade Exodus's headquarters. They defeated Gilland, the leader of Exodus, who had been manipulating Noctegal since the beginning. At long last, it seemed the quest for the Lance of Kresnik was over. But suddenly, the party was attacked by powerful spirit arts. Seeing no other alternative, Mila made a desperate move to save the lives of her companions. And although she was successful, it came at the cost of her own life. It was the Great Spirit Muse who unleashed the spirit arts that claimed Mila's life, all under orders from the Great Spirit Maxwell. Muse then revealed to the party that their former companion Mila was actually a human created by Maxwell, and he was only using her as a decoy to keep Exodus off his trail. Jude, still overcome with grief over Mila's death, refused to accept this. He only came to his senses after a selfless sacrifice on the part of Leia during a heated battle with Alvin. After a long struggle, Jude regained his will to fight for peace. And so the companions traveled to the temporal crossroads, which connects the human realm with the spirit realm, where they met Mila's creator, the great spirit, Maxwell. During their encounter, Maxwell told Jude about his true intentions and that Mila was merely a pawn in his scheme. 
Meanwhile, the spirit of the slain Mila wandered aimlessly through the spirit realm, with no memory of her past life. Yet somehow her soul was beckoned to the temporal crossroads. The same drive that had once guided her in life still called to her even in death. During the fierce battle between her former companions and the great spirit Maxwell, Mila appeared. She descended before Jude and her former companions in her new shape, that of a spirit. Mila had been awakened by the strong conviction emanating from Jude and the others. Seeing Mila's will overcome even death itself, Maxwell saw the error of his ways and put an end to his plot. He decided it was time to dispel the great schism between the worlds. It was then that Gaius and Muse made their move. Fearing that uniting Riza Maxia and Olympias would be dangerous, they captured the great spirit Maxwell. In the chaos, the party was sent through the schism to Olympias. Leave at once! This man is not worthy of the name Maxwell! We shall see! <laughs> Jude and his companions got to see firsthand how the Olympians lived. Due to the world's reliance on Spyrex, both the spirits and the very land itself were dying. Olympias would soon be in ruins. However, the Olympians lacked the ability to produce mana or to use the spirit arts. Although Spyrex was destroying their very world, it was essential to their civilization. Jude knew that the only way to save both worlds was to eliminate Spyrex, and so he began his search for a solution. In his travels, he discovered a force known as Spyrite, an energy which combined the capabilities of Spyrex and Riza Maxian technology. If Spyrite could be harnessed, the Olympians would be able to use spirit arts without harming the spirits or the balance of their world. Jude's dream of a peaceful future, where both worlds thrive using Spyrite, unfortunately ran counter to Gaius's much harsher vision. While both wished for a future filled with prosperity and a peaceful coexistence between man and spirit, their methods of achieving such an end were irreconcilable. Jude and Gaius, Mila and Muse, each believed so strongly in their convictions that at last they had no choice but to settle it at the temporal crossroads. After a climactic battle, Jude and Mila forced Gaius to lay down his sword and admit defeat. The fate of the two worlds had officially been decided. Free of his bindings, Maxwell dispelled the schism which had previously kept the worlds of Olympias and Riza Maxia divided. And as the schism disappeared, so too did Maxwell leaving Mila to step up as his successor and carry the burden of protector of the world of man and the world of spirits. However, this meant that Mila had no choice but to part ways with Jude and her companions, for she was now forced to dwell in the spirit realm. The two parted ways with a smile, secure in the knowledge that neither had any doubt or regret. Their journeys were far from over, and they were prepared for what was to come. Mila and Jude vowed to continue fighting for a future where humans and spirits might live together in peace 
and in harmony. But now, one year after the schism was destroyed, the world has begun to cry out once more.